Hello everyone and welcome to the Crystalline Podcast. I hope you are well and had a good break. We're back today with the topic of being alone. Now, it's so important that you must understand that being alone is totally okay. It's nothing to get upset over and it's going to happen to all of us at some point. My friend told me that there's a difference between... Um, being alone and being lonely. He said you could be married, sit next to the, your wife or husband and still feel lonely. Maxwell Maltz said if you make best friends with yourself, you'll never be alone. To do this, you need unconditional love for yourself. I often see my friends afraid of being alone, jumping from one relationship to the other, and for me, I have no respect for that. Because it's like, it's almost like they're just afraid of being alone with themselves. And some people just are. But it's really bad that people are afraid to be single. Like their life depends on them being with someone. And if they're not with someone, it's like they're nothing. And from this they you can end up in the wrong relationship with the wrong people. And, you know... It's just really unhealthy and that can do more harm than good in the long run. And to be honest, I think it's a massive waste of time. So I'm going to go through a technique with you, which I believe has worked so well and it's made me become quite stubborn um, because I know what I want. So, you know, just ending up with someone can do more harm than good. So, you know, you just never, you never really get to know yourself so that you don't know what's best for you and you don't know what you want. You need to know what you want. It is so important to know what you want and you have to be honest with yourself. Don't just rush into the first, you know, set of arms that you see because, you know, you're set up for anything and you could end up in the wrong place with the wrong people and even sometimes people can find themselves in abusive relationships. So I'm going to be honest. I was actually with one in one with one (laughs) yes now I was in one a few years ago and I put up with so much crap when I didn't need to but you know maybe I felt like I needed to be with someone maybe I didn't completely know myself and I didn't know any better but I cannot understand why I was in that relationship maybe I just had low self-esteem you know I didn't fall quite fall into his dick sand, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't quite unlike me. I can't see myself doing something like that right now, but I think it must have just been low self-esteem. But it wasn't until my nan passed away I realised that I don't need this. I don't have to take it. And I completely walked away because I knew that I wanted because I knew what I wanted after that. And I knew what I deserved. I knew that it was way better than that. I, sorry, I knew that I was way better than that, and I was worthy of so much more. I was single for a very, very long time after that. My nan and granddad celebrated their golden anniversary before they passed. I said to myself, I want that. I wanted something real, and I wasn't going to put up with anything else. But during this time, I found out all about me, and I found my strengths and my weaknesses, what I'm good at and what I'm bad at, what I love and what I hate. Everything I could possibly need to know. I'm not going to set off for anyone. And I was given advice to make a list. So this is my exercise. So write down a list of everything you want in someone. And don't set off for anyone. Because you can that list can change over time. But if you keep looking at the list. You'll end up with the right person. And you could probably do this with friends as well. And if you want to manifest. You can say oh, I already have. Or... I will have. Yeah, I already have. Maybe you can manifest it into your life. But you will find someone. Don't worry. It is totally okay to be alone. And I even go to the cinema alone because I'm like totally addicted to the cinema. But, and yeah, no, I, I just go in there alone. That's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I love the cinema because it's like a release from stress in a way um 
because I get so much stress. It's a form of escapism. That's the reason why I go to the cinema and, you know, I just go to places by myself and it's totally okay to sit at a bar and have a drink, you know, with yourself. Like Maxwell said, being friends with yourself, you know, you'll never be alone. So I constantly see people in the wrong relationships because they don't know what they want. It's a lot less effort to write a list than it is to spend a long time with the wrong person. But if you don't know what you want, that's okay. Just don't be with someone because you're alone. It's okay to be alone. It can be the right thing to do, especially if you know what you want. But some people learn differently by going through different relationships, constantly finding out what they want. And in one of my favorite movies, To All The Boys Love Before, part two, there's a great line saying, sometimes you have to kiss the wrong man to find, the wrong, to find what's right. <laughs> and I find that really adorable. Um, yeah, so it's totally less straining to write a list. But if you continue to do what's right for you and do the right thing that you love, I'm sure the right person will come to your life. Actually, I know the right person that will come to your life. So, it's all about finding what's right for you, and I definitely recommend just doing that list. It comes so helpful, and it will change over time, because, you know, you, you change over time. But you'll always know what you want and what's right for you. And if you don't know what's right for you, it's okay to... It's okay. Sometimes these things take time. You know, like with me, I didn't realise you know, it's like, hang on, I am worthy and I don't have to put up with this, I don't have to be with you because, just because, you know, so it's, it's a great thing to do and if you have any other practices just leave them in the comment below or just, just practice them, let us know, feel free to message me at contact at thechrystallinepodcast.co.uk but that's all for this episode of the Crystalline Podcast and next um, we will actually be, be discussing don't let the past hurt you and this comes in many form of I don't know if anyone's had an anxiety attack about the past but that's what that refers to so feel free to keep updated with my social media for more I've been your host Summer Clark and the quote I'm leaving you with is it's far better to be unhappy alone than unhappy with someone so far by Marilyn Monroe.